Good morning family Welcome back to my channel My name is Hugo Igo If you are the first time seeing our meet up with this channel you know, Please subscribe and share Like, thumb up, anyway you know. So today I'm going to share a little video but before that there i just gonna have a little talk show you know some people might wonder and say boy i'm gone into pure talking thing now instead of showing showing you know the land and everything you know but you know the first thing first you know every time i'm going to do a video or blogging or vlogging whatever we want to call it I'm so excited, <laughs> really I'm excited because, you know, the reason why I'm so excited because I'm sharing something with you and not like I'm showing off everything, you know, but I'm just so excited to share life experience or what I'm doing with you, just like you you know sharing with, with me as well from my little things in life i see where everyone i meet personally for a moment moment or two I, you know i i get something from them yeah something you know will last with me for forever for uh, gonna be with me for all my life i might don't know exactly what is it yet even for the next 20 years, I remember something about that person here because it living with I, you know, living right there. And life is like, like that's a circle for everyone because it become one. Me is you and you become me. Even meeting me, it may be going to be something in your life forever as well. Because your what's happened is all in your inner. It never leave out. All has been inside of you. So, what I'm saying this year now, on a previous video, I mentioned something about I get all my energy from the universe. People might wonder why I say that. Why I don't mention Mabel. God and the other rest of thing them anyway. Let me just simplify it and say God. Well, the thing about it, true. I'm a living person, and when I was a child, I may be do a lot of childish thing. Now I'm growing to a man, you know, no bigger than no one still, you know. I work out my little things in life, and it's I, and everyone around, and you know, I'm very practical with everything so gaining thing from the universe my whole body itself is a universe on its own so all those micro cells inside of my body I multiply them or they multiply it up into this big body here and my own body in this universe is a cell in the universe so working with one of these every cell are so important to your body. So my cell, my body, for instance, are so important to <laughs> the universe. So I'm a part of the universe. You know, and that is very logic to me. And that's the reason why I, I say I use, I use my universe as my energy because I know not of anything else. I just know of what life is, you know. I'm not really a far-fetched person, you know. And I just do what I feel life bring me in to do. You know, this little video, what I'm going to show, show you is actually back in London. Some reason why I decided to dry it up because I'm going to go back a slight little bit of history before I get to that point there. Big up a bridging call 
Patrick, I feel say Patrick William, if I'm right, see it, you know. He's the owner, the CEO of More FM. It's a local community radio station in Montego Bay here. And I rate the station so much. And whatever you want to do anyway, if you want to do a little ads on it, anyway, if you're not here, wherever, wherever you are anyway, see? And you want to share your story, assure him I welcome. And, you know, also music, you know, it's a very good station player. Proper decent music to saying, you know. I sure say maybe if you maybe type out more FM, you know, on internet you can maybe come across it anyway. And maybe you can get them on, on Facebook as well, you know. But you know, not playing music, maybe there's some you know a eh, ministry or something like that they are doing on and there eh, on the Facebook. You know, the reason why I'm beginning up a eh, Patrick is because of. You have mentioned something to me, right? The other day, you know, you sent me a little note. I mentioned, say, uh, whenever, you know, I'm organizing this trip back to Africa, dear, you know, you know, just give him enough time to, to a partake of it anyway. And you just bring back something to me, you know, because I, it's not like I did forgot, but I feel uh, it's maybe time now, can maybe organize it again, you know, may I say. And this trip here, what Patrick remind me about, you know, I was planning to do, actually, I organized it with, with a overland truck. Maybe like that one would maybe understand what I'm talking about. But it is like a coach, but it's an overland truck. We can take terrain, you know, and this, this trip was going to be in Namibia, Southern Africa, where, you know, I get people from all over the world, no matter what religion, what color you are, you could be fat, you could have slim, you know, or you could have rich or poor or stupid or wise, whatever <laughs> it is, is why I was want to do this trip here. When we all meet doing this journey for two weeks, help me blow out in the landscape of South Africa because South Africa nice, you know, see it, and we spend some time even out in the desert, you know. Where you'll maybe meet someone from somewhere in the world you never seen before and build a good not friendship but a brothership or sistership. That's it, that's the purpose I did actually want to do. That's I create we create a one love family traveling together, and even money cannot buy that experience there. I've experienced my little traveling from. England to Ghana driving actually with me and my wife, right? And that experience, money can never buy that. And one of the greatest thing why I'm doing this video as I'm talking, I'm just clicking back same time. Memory. When you do something and you cannot do much again, that memory, you so full joy it forever in your life. If you cannot do anything more, you always are gonna enjoy it. Our full joy, that memory in life again, you know. You know, I'm still full joy. Is 20 or much years ago I do that overland tri trip from from London to Africa, and I'm still full joy. It's like yesterday still. I I I no remember everything sometime, but sometimes there's something because it's one month worth of driving. So sometimes it click back to me. But the point I'm going to make today and now, you know, because I'm going to show you, I have this little video of England and also the next video, Mabel, will be on Ireland, you know, the other is Southern Ireland, Republic of Ireland then, seeing a place called Whitlow, you know, S you know, but this one first, I'm going to bring you up back into London. Part of the reason why I'm doing this here now, as I say. One of the greatest man, I say one of the greatest man on earth, well, was the owner of a sound system called Jashaka. Jashaka sound system, the Zulu warrior. Which some people might know and some don't know and never heard of this name before. Maybe today, or is a new subscriber or a new viewer to this channel here, you might hear this name if it's the first time. 
But I bet you this is one of the greatest sound on the planet Earth. Trust me, Jashaka Sound System, the Zulu warrior. I've passed off anyway, you know. Some of the people you might know, many of the people you might know, know, know that there. But as I say, if you are new to the channel, you, you may be here this for the first time. And when I say that there, one of the greatest sound and hurt, who know that sound would say the same thing like I. There are many sound out there, but this is the greatest sound and hurt. For instance, you have great singers, you have great instrument player, and great engineer, you know, all the specs of how you do music, see? You have the greatest. He was one of the greatest concerning sound system. You know, so, yeah, I have to really, you know, say this here, and it's a really a kind of like a sad moment. You know, most of the people them who, all of the people them who know just Shaka sound system is the saddest moment. You know, me and some bridging talking for time, hours and hours and, you know, about the sound. Because why I'm, I'm saying this here, just Shaka sound system, most of what I'm doing in life right now concerning music, I learned that from that sound there. Yeah, that sound there. And the reason why, on top of that, there again, now, one of the places I'm going to highlight on the video is right around the corner, walking distance to where he used to play at this place called Phoebe's Club. Every Friday night. Big up yourself, Cleavy. Because Cleavy is the first man who actually took me to that sound system there. A bridging where I know from, you know, because when I first reached into England, I'm going to get a small little history from 76, you know, and my first work experience I ever, not work experience, full time job, seeing from Monday to Friday, right? <laughs> eh, you know, where I meet this bridging called Cleavy, seeing, you know, him the one who first brings me to the Shaka sound system and that lead me to having a little sound. Which him did have a next sound with them so bridge call, you know, Marika sound system scene. And my one did call Messiah sound. You know, people don't want to say, why well, me don't want to get that Bible scripture name anyway. But I didn't look at it that way there. I was looking at and this sound here is one of the gonna be one of the sound coming to take over all the sound, seeing? You know, we have a good little sound. So when they come on to music, I still have some record here. And big up yourself, Tony. You know, I'm just healing out some of the friends them seeing, which I know for years, who's still involved in the Rotical music. And this little video, you, you will give it a clip of him. With a record shop in Camblin Town, that's not London, Camblin Lock itself anyway, where a lot of people go and, you know, check out, check him out there, check him out. Right at Camblin Lock, you know, you'll find, you know, ask anyone who may be in the shop, people who keep, it's in the lock anyway, right? So, if you go to London and you are in Camblin Town, you know, not London, if he says Northwest 5, Northwest, not the, this region, right? You know, it, it, it be a same way. Go and check him out. He have all the record them what you would not want, the classic, original vinyl scene, you know. So, check him out. Yeah, man. So, me have a big up all them good People there go back to Cleavy. Cleavy, I wanted a body engineer. Trust me, you know, keyboardist too, all rounder. And I was talking to him the other day, and he was telling me, boy, everything what him do, he, he, him talking my life too, you know. So it is Shaka, make him do all of these things here, inspire him to, to achieve all this greatness of himself, seeing. Just like me myself. So what, what I'm saying, one of the greatest sound system in 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 hurt scene is because of this sound here. Alright, I'm gonna tell you how what happened in this club at Phoebe's. If you are in the dance, 
you know, and everybody just get warm up and nice and a dance and skank in the call it, you know, because every man, if you cannot do your foot movements or them thing there, and actually, as I mentioned, my bridging cleave there, when you see a, girl, a crowd get around in the middle of the, the floor, you know, says so Cleavy and somebody else there now. Cleavy was one of the body slicker dance and some broke down and them wind up, wind up body and them type of thing they see. <laughs> yeah. And so hear this thing I know. You see if you're passing by a, a Rasta man now and you accidentally step on his feet. Is when you're both you go say, sorry, pardon me. I s no, he first will even say, sorry to you. That's all the oneness, and that's what Shaka create in the in that atmosphere. There, may I share something? It was such a unity and love. And if you go back and check out some video of some interview where Shaka, you know, do what he was talking about, you know, how he created him sound and what the environment was, you know, that's what it's about still anyway. But I don't really want to drag out this as well because this little video, you know, is a little about me still anyway in London and and. Going back to some of the, the place nearby, you know, yeah, where I used to, you know, uh, move around anyway, seeing? So, uh, so all the, all the subscribers and everybody, just help and share this channel yeah, and try and make it grow because I not only really want to do uh, this far, just maybe money people might think anyway, it's a oneness channel anyway saying for everyone and one of the most important thing what i'm gonna say as well now i watch a lot of youtuber too and some of the the the, the traveler them travel in the world and i watch youtube for a, a majority of little things i need to do you know youtube is part of my universe too as well saying and you know but one of the thing about it i have no close bridging a friend who doing something like what I'm doing right now, seeing? You know, don't know what is it, you know. If one of you are doing a channel what I know as person, I will be watching you all the time. Trust me, you know. So I don't know no one who know I personally doing channel what I can look, up, look forward to every week or every other week or every day to see they upload and what they're going to share, you know, what their content is about or whatever. I have no close friend, you know. I just watching thousands of people all over the world, you know. So I'm just anyway saying, uh, you know, it's not for everyone still because it's a, it's a hard world to travel, but, you know, but because I'm not really shy then, for instance, because the, the most thing you have to really get over, overcome, is confident of yourself and I'm very confident of myself anyway I can travel anywhere in the world you know with confident anyway because you know you know why because I have a clean heart to myself anyway seeing I mean I have intent to any corrupted vibes you understand where they so my vibes alone intend to to go through with niceness anyway and to love but the most important thing is to love, you know. And earlier on, what I did say, everyone, I take something from everyone because everyone have something inside of them. You know, I always hope everyone can change, you know, when they, you know, to, to, the, to the best part in a way. I mean, I don't care what they're going to do, you know, what they want to do because there's no wrong and right in you know, this whole thing here. Because what you think says right for you is maybe wrong for other people or whatever it way goes still and where. It just have it, it just a moment gone by and that moment already gone. So just move on, you know. And this is the thing what I'm doing. If people can help me to move on to because I'm a human, you know, just like other people. See? So I'm gonna just, you know, and tell me what you think of all of these little share a a a a a comment about what I'm saying about everything you know and the video you know so peace and love until you know we can talk again soon today i'm in a place called dalstan this road sanjinam road 
famous road. So I decided so I was gonna just take a little walk down here to just bring back my memory of how it used to be. All right, we catch up on the end of the road because this is a quite a little long road, you know. So people, this junction is a quite serious junction to me and I will tell you why in a little bit. You remember I did say I was gonna tell you about this Sanjinam Road. Right now I'm down in the heart of this Sanjinam Road, right? Well anyway, this Sanjinam Road used to be the headquarter, the front line. I would dance the most Caribbean Jamaican, I dance the most Jamaican road still, you know. So every day, right along here, people come along and get the best ganja seen. So I'm gonna make a flick around and show you exactly where some of the headquarter office was. Things have changed so much, it, I don't recognize here that much. You know, it has changed so much that I cannot really tell what is what. But I just have a feeling where that white door that's a 16 5 here or the other one after the black door is is where the main office used to be where that's where everyone usually go inside from downstairs to upstairs is a ganja house where all any amount of ganja you want if it's a big black bag of a ganja or just a small little 10 pound you could get it anyway and a long year so it's just pure yard man sit out get out of trouble out there while 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 cars coming in cars going out yeah so this original front line sanjinam road scene yeah and i'm gonna show you something anyway right along over here so somewhere which is have changed one of these house it used to be house but now we be coming to apartment where original ranking dread used to first start off you know yeah so ranking dread the dj all right somewhere in this house i used to live but it's not this exactly house is the apartment to, to turn into right over there again nitty gritty i mean nitty gritty right over there you know everyone say yeah nitty gritty a rude boy at the time anyway but i don't know what's happened after he leave and go into the state and lose him life but you know imagine all the yard man used to come on a shotgun or maybe it's blank you know every day something pop down here down here almost look the same you know nothing much change these houses are still here this block of flat over there our apartment it never used to be there so things have changed much this pub is the same look the same but <laughs> up there, there used to be a synagogue up there, a Jewish synagogue place up there. So we are, we are in the end, the government or the council have give most of us a place to, to go and stay in and build studio, any little activity. But right now, it's right somewhere right along here, so you know the change. Yeah, this so this this is a new apartment. Well, most Jamaican artists usually hang around here anyway. Whether they are passing, just sit in their car. Very famous artists anyway, like Dennis Brown. Sugar mine at many many more. I remember I meeting to nitty gritty right over there as well. So this I was mentioning about the junction just up there. 
whenever we leaving from here and going up it, more like some of the time police will be at the top of the road so it used to be a problem getting onto San Jam Road or half you know so when you get off you're lucky uh, when you get on you're lucky you know but they never really trouble people too much along this road here so this is the Stoke Newton area the San Jam Road the very famous San Jam Road I'm so excited to be here again you know back in London and seeing you know <laughs> all this great so we just take a, a breeze through it and see the wind blowing through the place all this are indoor market this used to be the top things now them days when we first just come down here like it's like run down a little way still you know most of the time I used to come and get all the little herb time time still but things change up you know yes right. see I show you the same way the same thing we can get a Jamaica see all the yam bread food up here so. bread food yeah man I thought it was all purpose. How much a pound did I sell the bread for you? Five nine nine per kilo. <laughs> so that would be like how much? Yeah. Like, that, like that, how much? This bread, where is this bread food from? Jamaica. They make sure big though, you know? St. Lucia. St. Lucia. Oh, just to take a video. Yeah. So five pound a kilo, I have to measure that up. Yeah. I said, it's all the, everything you can get at Jamaica. Same place. I'm sure some most of them yam here is from Ghana. Just come back off the street and I can show you what I have buy on the street for just five pounds. Five pounds, English pound. So these are the fruit as tangerine, grapes, and strawberry. What do you call it again? With mango. <laughs> I can't remember what they were called because such a long time I haven't eaten them. But anyway, the reason why I'm, I'm saying this here, imagine buying this in Jamaica. This alone in Jamaica, that size, yes, plus this year, I'm going to roughly estimate it in Jamaica. It's 3,000 Jamaican dollar. I'm going to do the maths and come back and come over and tell you exactly how much, you know, but this is actually five pound british pound so when i do the maths i come back and tell you exactly how much you know that is in jamaica yeah man me sure i said this is the original massive style from long time from way long in the 80s you know them brethren have run music you know and definitely me come and see him today and at the shop still me tell you yeah man and me sure share something me sure share said vinyl still living go for them vinyl yeah London, you can be locked right as you can get it. See, trust me. If you can't get it, you will find it. I'm 
7 inch in there, 12 inch to 10 inch. I want to be know what 10 inch look like. 10 inch single this time. Much people know this time now. This is 10 inch, 7 inch, 12 inch. They come as I am. And even a cassette, if you want a cassette, if you have a cassette player, you can get cassette. And the big man himself, the big massive and large himself, I'm some man called Tony. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> For real. You know, we there talk about this tent music. We feel if you let us tap into this conversation. Tony, I say, right? Same family. The type of dub we used to listen to. See? A real dub music. But right now, the music has some electronic kind of vibes. So, when I say, when it's session start up, you don't get the warm up dub, the real original thing. But after maybe midnight, I didn't have a vibe there. I didn't have a dub there. Yeah, okay. And then. Right through the night, so if you know physical, pick the blood and scuff, you know. Yeah, I'm bowing head then, for instance, then, nodding head then, like this, yeah. Most man are going like this, yeah. <laughs> so this type of music, right through the night, I don't know if you can take it, but I know my type of thing, yeah. Take off you have some serious strings tonight, you know, the way there. Some melody, just one away like this, yeah. It alright for a little bit of time, but not one night, or three hours. <laughs> when, it, when, it, when it gets serious now, <laughs> when it gets serious now, alright, you watch him, I'm gonna draft it some different style and show it, it got worse. <laughs> or better, I don't know. When it gets serious now, Oh gosh. <laughs> Steppers, yeah, yeah. Steppers, but we know Augustus Pablo, we got a list of them. For real, with some nice suit and I'm gonna get it. And I tell you something, you know, this tune is much different from the other rest, you know, and you know, they're, they're not much different at the same type of kind of style where listen it good, electronic style, electronic but you know, them love it still, you know, yeah yeah, keep the music alive yeah, you keep the music alive and nothing wrong with that still because yeah, I'll mean, keep you updated by what I go on at the music scene yeah, let's turn around again, see it? Yes. Well, I myself do 